Another headline on the front of the Sydney Morning Herald tomorrow, honeymoon over for Albanese. Voters have marked down Prime Minister Anthony Albanese on major tests of his leadership after four weeks of dispute over election promises and the cost of living, cutting his net performance rating from 35 to 25 percentage points. Tanvir, given how much modern day politicians, and I think this is a bipartisan issue, are very concerned about their ratings and approval and social media likes and things like this, this is going to hurt. I think we're going to change, see a shift in potentially the, the Prime Minister's demeanour the next, the next parliamentary sitting fortnight. Look, I think it's true. I, I mean, look, I think we expected it. And th this, ex this also gives an insight why there was so much heat on the Reserve Bank Governor. They're really going for him, all different parts, and really they knew this cost of living crunch was going to hurt. People were going to blame somebody. But the problem for Albanese is that, that ultimately they always blame the politicians, and I think this is, mm. this is a reflection of that. And even their whole small target, I mean, the reality is they're, it's, they're the opposite of a small target. I mean, they're trying to remake capitalism. They're, they're, they're intervening into the energy market quite heavily. Now they're thinking about super... So, really, it's the opposite. And, and this, unfortunately, this is Labor always. I mean, they usually got some grand um, vision plans of some kind, so utopian dreams of some kind, even if they get elected on a small target. And we're seeing more of that, and that's going to upset people who might have voted for them uh, on the small target strategy, if you like.